the Exceptional Extracurricular Achievement Award is presented to world-class students who have also pursued substantive endeavors outside their studies. Please send uh, the other winners as well on the stage. This platform was created in res response to a survey conducted by students, among students, regarding the facilities available to students with a disability. The result revealed a need for an approachable way to obtain help and advice from hand-on experts. A lot of students said to me, uh, I feel that I'm the only person at the university that has a disability. I never see other people with a disability. And I was like, well, why not form this group and show other students that they're not the only one that has a disability. So that's why well, this group was formed. It started very small with five students and we're now we're in total of, uh, of 11 uh, students. Uh, yeah. and how many people do have a disability at Utrecht University? About 9 to 10 percent, uh, based on the National Student Survey, have some sort of disability. So this, the university has around 2,800 to 3,000 students that have a disability. We describe it as something that can hinder you in studying. So it can be dyslexia, ADHD, you know, sitting in a wheelchair, but also autism or having depressions, burnouts. Uh, it's a very broad definition, at least how, that's how we interpret uh, a disability. Yeah. What do you do for those people as a group? Well, first of all, we try to improve the policy. So more facilities, more uh, help for students, uh, future students, but also students that are already studying here. Uh, and we make sure that students that come here, the new students, master and bachelor students, can find their route to the study advisor that can help them with all kinds of things. I've heard that you put together a job interview training. Yeah, that's correct. Can you tell me something about that? Uh, well, I think it's like three months ago now and uh, we thought that it would be great if some people could learn a little more about how they should present themselves when they have a disability. Um, so that's how the ID started and uh, we had one training now and hopefully in the future we will have more trainings again. Furthermore, there's also a buddy program for example. Um, but she's engaged with it more, so maybe she can sell something more about it. <laughs> it's a program where we um, connect students, uh, members of our platform, with students that need extra counseling, um, so we can support them. And so many students signed up for the program, but right now we don't have the capacity yet to provide all these students with counseling. Um, and we hope in the future to help as much students as possible and support as much students as possible with uh, this program.